What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today is Monday, I think. What date is it actually? I don't even know. It's the 30th of October. This year is going by so fast, it's already almost November. So, today is Monday and I want to go over the last week's weigh-ins a little bit with you guys because um, I didn't record too many videos last week. The grind still continues. So, on Monday, I'm going to put it up on the screen right now as well. Monday, 68. Tuesday, 68.5, 68.5, and 69. Uh-huh. Um, 68.4, very bad day that day. Uh, it was a very bad day. I didn't eat at all. I was kind of sick. 68.2, and then yesterday I was 68.8. This morning I was also 68.8. Our first average weigh-in on week number one was 67.5. So on average we gained one kilos um, so far, which is 2.25 pounds, which is obviously not that much. It's still progress every week We still gaining weight, so I'm good, you know, and also also last week was deload week and um, The reason why there weren't as many videos was because I only trained three times last week There's a couple reasons one. It's deload week the fifth week um, After four weeks of a cycle of training. I do a fifth week. It's just a deload week, which I train half the times with half the volume, so so I had a very very relaxed week training wise. It was kind of boring, but it was kind of good too because the second reason why um, I did a deal a week and I needed it and I weren't doing any videos is because I have a little bit of an uh, like a recurring pain in my shoulder and it's not like the pain that I usually had, but um, I broke my clav clavicle a couple of years ago and it's kind of hurting now. So today we have another push day and today we start with the second cycle which is week six to nine which i do incline bench press instead of normal bench press six sets eight reps so i am kind of like hopefully this doesn't hurt if it hurts too much i might have to just do normal bench press because obviously incline you hit a little bit more of the upper part which kind of can make it harder because it, it, it kind of hurts but Hopefully that's not the case. Week six till nine, we're gonna do incline bench press, dumbbell press, incline machine press, cable fly, skull crushers, rope extensions. So I'm excited for it. Um, skull crushers, I, hasn't been, I have been doing that for a long time. I kinda always have a pain in my elbow when I do it because um, I always did it wrong. But today I wanna go over it, how I'm gonna do it now since hopefully it doesn't gonna hurt. And then uh, I just want to go over in this video, I want to go over the workout, the fully workout, so I'm going to record everything. So yeah, I hope you still are enjoying the game game series. I know the last week haven't been any videos pretty much, or like at least one. I'm really, really sorry for that. I know that's a bad excuse, but um, hopefully you guys are still gaining weight as well. Because as long as I progress in the weight, I'm good. I don't need to rush anything. I don't, I like, I'm running a marathon here. I'm not running a sprint. I'm okay. So if I gain weight very gradually and my strength goes up and I'm gaining muscle, I'm good. So the last few days were really, really, you know, pretty boring days. Uh, I've been beating my meat a lot. <laughs> oh, yes, baby. All right, friends, let's just go and hit the gym. Let's hope, pray to God, that we don't have any issues with the shoulder. Please, please, please. What's going on guys, let's just jump into the commentary here. Um, as I said, week 6 till 9 uh, was going to be incline bench press because I wanted to switch it up. The original workout will be in the description, uh, but um, I say original because I end up not doing incline because I've had a lot of pain and, and you, know, you know, just a hard time with shoulders when doing incline, but I, I guess I wanted to try it again and I kind of just didn't work out like I wanted to. It was kind of a weird one. I felt, you know, I felt the pain that I always felt, and that's just not a good thing. So I decided, well, I tried it, <laughs> and this is the warm up set. Obviously, I mean, this is, was okay. It was not something weird, but I already knew after the warm up, I'm like, ah, I don't know if, how this is gonna go. So um, here it is. I decided to try for one set um, with the way that I wanted to use. And it ended up just not working out for me. So I switched to bench press, to normal bench press. So uh, the workout will be in the description, but it's not the workout that exactly that I did since I kind of messed up my um, my shoulder at the beginning doing incline. So that's why, you know, um, I couldn't just do the full workout that I wanted to do. So that's very unfortunate. Um, yeah, we're just looking at this. I mean, it looks good from, from this perspective and stuff, but I knew like when I was doing it, I was like, nah, this is not good. Um, so I don't know, my, my, my right one uh, feels very, very weak when doing incline. And this was like the first set. And usually like 
first second set I should be doing easy reps but um, this was just not easy enough and it just didn't feel good you can see by my face like damn nah this shit ain't happening so I decided to switch to bench press but since I just had a little bit of a pain I just couldn't do it like a good like a good very good um, weight so I decided to go just go with 135 uh, so I could at least finish the sets because I have six sets eight reps uh, so I at least wanted to do that so I decided to do 135 um, slow and controlled really trying to squeeze the chest together uh, this was one of the last sets of that uh, then I moved on because um, dumbbell if I have pain in my shoulder I'm never doing dumbbell because that just makes it worse from my experience so I just straight went to the machine press again in the schedule is incline machine press but <laughs> again it's just gonna hurt so I had to do this normal machine press which felt good uh, but I kind of felt it in my uh, shoulder a little bit so not the best training session but since it was the week after deal week like anything was good so uh, the pump was great I uh, you know I felt the squeeze well but I just had a little bit of a pain uh, then we move on to some simple tricep extensions again I just couldn't do anything um, everything that I wanted to do with skull crushers um, I tried that I didn't uh, I didn't film it actually but I did try it um, went quite well um, Next time I will definitely record it so I can go over it, but I don't feel comfortable enough to talk about it because I, I, I need to make some adjustments on the form for myself and then I, I would be good to talk about it. But this tricep extensions was just great as a finisher. Um, you know, I feel really, really good after this deal week, but it's just very unfortunate that um, I messed up my shoulder with the incline. So we're definitely switching up back to the normal bench press. Um, we're going to have another commentary at the end of this video. So enjoy the rest of this video and let's talk later. What's up, guys? Welcome to Tuesday. Um, I decided to put this video two days in one video since uh, yesterday wasn't too interesting. But we did go over the chest workout from yesterday, which... It's kind of a fail, but kind of a good one. Um, today we're doing deadlifts again, six times eight. Hopefully we can do like a good amount of weight. We have our straps, we have our belt. Let's actually talk, let's, okay. Let's talk about the belt real quickly. So I decided to purchase a little belt. Uh, it's like a very standard one, nothing crazy. I wanted to try it out. I do with belt and with straps now. And I can honestly say it really, really helps me. Um, to progress because I feel like it was stagnating a little bit. I think it's a great purchase. It was 10 bucks 10 bucks. So um, Let's go into commentary and let's talk about the belt and how it really helps me A uh, little bad news here a little bit. Um, I just came in the gym. I was just chilling. I was just doing my warm-up set You know nothing crazy third rep. I feel something in my lower back like kind of like a sting ish so there is no way I'm doing that list tonight at all like I don't want to risk anything so we're gonna just do machine stuff because that was definitely not good so I don't know what really happens I didn't do anything crazy but I don't know man what's up we're back so as, as you just heard man the first two days after the deal a week is like two days of like injuries and stuff though so that's not a very good start to the week I should say um, my shoulder is still a little bit feeling a little bit sore um, and and I don't know what happened with my lower back when I was just warming up with literally uh, 90 pounds, 90 pounds, dude, like it's nothing. Like I was just warming up, getting ready and it, I just felt something in my lower back. So I decided like, no, this is not happening. I'm not doing this, I'm not risking it. Um, so I'm, I'm going to see the next couple of days, how it feels and how things go. Uh, but I decided to just do then randomly do some machines that I could do without really bothering my lower back. So I did this lat pull down. I did the other pull down with a V bar. So uh, two different grips, so that's great. And then I finished with shrugs. I sped it up a little bit for you guys. Um, with two, uh, 45 pound plates, 20 kilos. Um, as you can see, the, the range of motion for me is very, very hard with shrugs since I do have a very, my neck is just a very big problem at, 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 at this moment. And uh, it just really doesn't allow me to, um, to have a full range of motion without really having a pain. So that really sucks. But I'm really trying, as you see here, I'm very concentrated on what I'm doing. See, I'm closing my eyes. I'm really focusing on my traps. I'm really squeezing those. So um, I was kind of happy with how it went. But I mean, for now, it's like, it kind of sucks. So then uh, we did some biceps. We decided to do some easy bar curls. Super set of that with plate curls, which felt really, really good. Um, we did four times 10. Uh, for each so 10 reps of easy bar curls and then 10 reps of the plate curls and um, i must say i've 
I see myself getting like a lot fuller with this bulk. So I'm really, really happy with how things are going and how I'm looking. And you can see me filling up a little bit. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, but this is a quite a nice finisher. I did some close up here. Um, so yeah, the plate curls, like the, the, the range of motion is like a little bit shorter than fully because after like easy bar curls, you just have to squeeze it out. So uh, the workouts will be in the description and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Um, that didn't go too well. For some reason, the first like warm up set, third rep, I feel something in my lower back and this is not good. <laughs> I know, so I quit immediately. I was like, nope, no, 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 no. It's not like it was it's not like completely ruined. It's like, like, it's not like I felt like, oh, this is it. But I felt it coming. So I felt like, oh, if I do some more, I fuck it up. So uh, I quit that, that lifting all along. I just did some uh, machine <laughs> stuff. So I guess we didn't talk about the belt, did we? <laughs> so um, I don't know, I'm really sorry for that. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed the footage from yesterday and today, regardless. Um, we did some bicep training as well. We got some really good footage from that. Um, taking some rest. Hopefully tomorrow it's better. Tomorrow we have squats, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of scared because I don't want to mess up my back even more. We're going to eat this. Get our proteins in, and then um, we'll uh, go on with the day. I mean, things are going, still, uh, still doing quite well. I don't have anything to say, man. 